Hi there. So today I have a Agilent power supply and you can see that the dial right here doesn't work that great. There's a delay. I mean it's not bad but I have to move. So 6, okay finally six, uh, 0 0.6 volts is going down, 0 0.4. So again it's not as responsive. It takes a little work. I mean it's not bad, it's functional. Uh, but today I'm going to show how you can replace the encoder behind this knob. Okay, now that we have this opened up, um, we need to disconnect this cable right here that goes to the front panel. Um, first, let's just lift this knob up and release this ribbon. And again, this so you just pull it right out. Now, let's go ahead and take the knob out. You just pull it right out. If it doesn't give, you can use a flathead. Now grab a 7 16th socket. There's this nut right here. Okay, after the knob is off and you release the nut, next remove this. And then on the side, right on the plastic, there are two screws. Now this drops right out. It's loose. Let's pull it all the way out. Just gently lift this up a little bit. And then I can... There we go. And this whole thing comes right out. Okay, now we can put in the new encoder. Okay, let's put this back together. Let's put this circuit board back down. All you do is just align the three tabs right here. After it's aligned, you just push it and it will click. Now we can slide this through. Put the face plate back on. One is enough. So for a knob right here, first the washer and this. Alright, now let's connect this back onto the circuit board. And let's see if it powers up and run.
All right, let's uh, I put on. Oh, this is so much smoother. Oh yeah. Well, looks like it works. That's definitely worth repairing. Ooh, that's so good. All right, let's uh, put this all back together.